Hands up. The Hankins Christ. Hello, my name is Byron Spinks. Welcome to Sequoia Village. Every once in a while, an important historical figure makes an appearance and makes a difference, and then disappears. A good friend of mine, Wendy Wickwire, a professor emerita at the Department of History at the University of Victoria, wrote a book titled At the Bridge. It tells the story of uh, such a figure, James Tate. He was born in 1864 and he passed in 1922. He was a Shetland-born Canadian who lived and worked in Canada during a transformative time of the country's history. Arriving in BC just over a decade after his entry into Confederation, Tate spent 40 years as a student of the Indigenous people of BC, Washington, Idaho, Oregon, and Montana. This led to 11 ethnographic monographs, and large collections of artifacts and field notes, plant and wildlife inventories, maps, uh, wax cylinders, recordings, and photographs. He spent the last 15 years of his life at the center of an Indigenous campaign aimed at resolving BC's contentious land title issue. As only a tiny fraction of the province was under treaty at this time, the leaders of the campaign argued that until the sovereignty is resolved, the settler colonial project stood on stolen land. Despite his remarkable life and legacy, Tate was like most uh, friends of the Indians at the time, quickly blacklisted and dismissed as a white agitator. Tate was a prolific ethnographer and an Indian activist. Uh, Tuckwayan Village is planning to host a uh, one or two day symposium to chronicle the life of James Tate in the fall of 2021. Special guest speakers such will be invited, such as Wendy Wickfire. Please come and join us, and we'll be happy to share some of our stories from a perspective. Thank you. Homel.